Hi everyone, in this video we are going to explore some examples of what a chemical and physical change looks like at the particle level. So what I want you to remember for each of these things is each little circle represents an atom. And the identity of the atom itself isn't necessarily important for a lot of these ideas to really get across. Um, but remember that each one is just one atom and the identity of the atom cannot change unless it's radioactive. Uh, but that's not something that we're talking about today. So over here, we have two different types of atoms, some that I've just colored in black, some that I have left as white. And we have this situation over here. So something happens, this is the change, and now they look like this. Well, what really keys in to the fact that this is a chemical change, hint, hint, is now these things are bonded together. They're all very different, separate here. Uh, but over here, they're very specifically one-to-one, -one, one white atom with one black atom, and they are stuck together. While over here, we have our individual atoms floating around. See that they got the little swishies to indicate they have uh, a good amount of energy and they're separate. And while they're definitely closer together over here, they're not bonded. There's some separation between them. So it has gone through some kind of physical change, probably losing heat, um, maybe going from a liquid to a solid, or maybe even a gas to a solid. Now take a look over here. We have all of these atoms, and they're all very close together, but I don't think that they're bonded. We have our change happen, and oh, now we're separated. The identity of the atoms has not changed, and whether or not they're bonded to each other hasn't changed. They weren't really bonded over here. They're not really bonded over here. So this is a physical change. Something broke. Here we go over here. Kind of see the reverse of what we saw initially. We have our things that are very clearly bonded together. They're stuck. We have a reaction. And now they're all separated. This is a chemical change. Now, sometimes chemical changes look a little bit different than those. It doesn't always have to be one or two different atoms together. Um, so over here we have our scenario. We have two different types of atoms. We have a reaction. And now they have formed a molecule with one white atom and two black atoms. And chemical changes don't always look like that, right? They don't always have to go from uh, single atoms hanging out on their own or molecules hanging out on their own to single atoms. Sometimes they just rearrange themselves. So over here we have a total of three atoms in these molecules, and they rearrange to actually just bond with one of the same. So we have currently over here one white atom and two black atoms, and then over here the black atoms join each other, and then the white atoms also join with each other. So the properties for this reaction have definitely changed. Take a look over here. We have some atoms, got some swishies, kind of close together, some kind of change happens, now they're further apart. There's no bonding that has changed, so this is definitely a physical change. And our last one. Now this one is a little bit tricky, um, but also not. So this one really represents dissolving. We have some stuff over here, let's, let's just say this is water, and let's say that this is salt. This is one that gets really confused, whether dissolving is a physical or a chemical change. So we add them together, that's the change happening here, and this is what it looks like at the particle level. They haven't bonded, they are not stuck together or anything, they're just kind of hanging out together. And water does make salt essentially disappear, that's what dissolving is. Um, but this is what dissolving actually looks like at the particle level. It has not bonded, it has not um, had any property changes with water. You know what water tastes like. You know what salt tastes like. You mix salt into water and it tastes like salty water, not like anything new. So its properties have not changed. They have not bonded together. Dissolving is a physical change. Have a good day.